Hello and welcome to jobskillshare.org. Most of the time we get questions like, I want to learn specific thing in IT or I want to advance my career and I want to learn about, let's say, servers, Active Directory, security, or maybe virtualization. And because our platform offers a lot of services, we need to break things down for them. So to make this whole thing easy, we have created a full flow of diagram. Now this diagram, you also will come across it on our membership page. So if you go to, let's say, a homepage, and the reason I'm sharing this is because people should know about this diagram and, and this really makes it easy for them to understand how this works. So if you go to the membership page, if you scroll down, you can see this diagram is a little different, but it starts with the same flow. Start here know about what you're going to need for this career in IT and then we offer two solutions for beginners you can either do a hundred percent self pace by just getting a membership watching this video or you can get a 16 weeks long mentored program which is also self paced but it's mentored people are watching you people are talking to you and then of course if you want to start then you start with the registration video and after that we have the first course breakdown so it gives you a clear understanding of how to get started in this platform but of course after this we have so many people that want to advance their careers so today i want to talk about this new topic which i have already talked about let's say active directory topic or security related topic today i want to talk about a new topic the new topic is about i want to learn server administration now if you're brand new you must be asking this question right now. Why do people say that? Why do people come to you for this question? Now remember when you become an IT professional, especially when you become an IT support professional, you always want to move up in your career most of the time. So to learn this type of uh, you know, skills, you got to understand that there are certain, there are important things when we need to move up in this career, we need to understand this. And what is that? So a lot of people, when they talk about servers, they immediately think that it's just something that has to be done on a sysadmin level. Now it's true, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't matter what career, as long as you are an IT professional, a network engineer, a security engineer, or a sysadmin, Windows Server Administrator, whatever you are at that level, even an IT manager, you got to know about servers. Okay? Now, you may see some people and they say, we don't even touch servers. That's fine. That's very specific jobs out there. But if you were to work for a company, normally for, let's say, 400 people, and they hire two network engineers, or they call them network administrators, you're definitely gonna touch servers if they're using servers like Windows servers or any other servers. So specifically, I'm talking about Windows server over here. Now, why is that? Because look, DHCP, DNS, uh, many other uh, systems like you know deployments, updates, we use servers. We don't use Cisco stuff for that, okay? Most, very few companies you're gonna come across and they will not use that, but that's where the things get tricky. But but I did my CCNA. I did not know about servers. But CCNA is not going to teach you that because CCNA is a different company, right? They're not going to promote uh, Microsoft products. There's going to be a conflict. But as soon as you go to the work, you get hit with this reality that, wow, I need to learn about everything. Well, forget it. That's how I'm going to do it. So now you get to know why people come to us. Because they are, they are, in, they are, they are either in the stage where they're seeing a sysadmin doing all these things, or they are going to need to ad advance their career in the future, so they need to know this. So Danish, how do I learn about servers in JSS? That's usually the question we get. So first, I wanna show you something. You go to indeed.com, the reason why people are not confident when they actually click on this and they wanna to apply to this seventy, eighty thousand dollars job, but then they see maintain Active Directory Windows servers, roles, and services. There you go. You know, if you don't have that basics, this is the reason we tell people that you need to go back to the program if you want to learn things the correct way because someone is leading you towards this type of learning. 
very step-by-step -step approach, the correct approach. If you are in the position that you have already gotten the job and you don't want to go back to actually working in a IT support roles and you want to learn these things, then you have to also accept the reality that things are not going to be easy for you. If you have, if you're skipping the basics, if you're skipping the core skills, then yes, it's not going to be easy because as soon as you jump into the server courses, they are not going to tell you what is this. They're going to tell you what does this do basically. It's going to be mainly about that. But of, of course, if you're if you're a person who have already been working in IT, then I think this is something that we all know in IT that we can. We can understand this. We can learn things quickly, okay? So the reason you're going to be confident after learning about servers is, is that you're going to see something related to the servers when you're trying to apply to systems administration positions or Windows systems administrator positions. Any position that you click on over here that has to do something with the engineer level or a sysadmin level, they're going to throw something at you that gonna that that's just gonna makes you think about what do I do about you know well how do I learn this stuff? Even though if I'm clicking on this job, I don't even know, but I just clicked on it. I just immediately see local Active Directory. If I was if I am the sysadmin of this company, I know that they're using some type of hybrid. Uh, you know, um, environment. Look at this backup servers and, and related connectivity equipments. So, practically, if you're not going to do hands on practice on servers, you are most likely not going to apply to this job because you will be too scared to touch this job. As soon as, if somehow, I see there's another thing that, that's happening these days people do some training, they give them, you know, some kind of, uh, you know, whatever way they just get them a job. Uh, and I just got this recently, you know, someone was making a lot of money, but they left the job because it was too stressful, too stressful to do this type of job. And trust me, yes, in some places you will get lucky. But in most of the places, if you were to become a sysadmin and someone's paying you 90K, 100K, 75K up, they want you to work on these systems. You are the last person. Don't get me wrong, you are the last person because it's helped us. It's, it's say it's the, helped us is saying this is not my job. I already know that this is not a issue with a local account or local machine. This is a sysadmin job. Boom, the ticket is gone to you. Are you gonna go to your CEO or managers say, oh, I, I didn't know about this stuff. I have to learn about this stuff. Well, you got a problem then. Now, some companies do have backups on top of that. But, you know, like I said, if you want to get this type of jobs, you got to be serious. So how do we help in JSS? So the first thing is that if you were to if you were taking our program, you were guided to learn these type of modern skills with your basics. You started with basics and then we guided you towards basics to to the advanced stuff. How? So let me show it to you. So if you were to follow our program, let's say, Community portal. I'm just going to go in there and I'm going to go click on get certification. This is the IT program that we're teaching. So you can see over here, the first program starts with all this stuff. And a lot of people, when they look at this type of program, remember, this is a skills program. So it's not going to be just two hours long courses like, you know, other platforms that you see outside. A lot of people, hey, why, why is your prices for me premium membership like this? And they had somebody selling on nine dollars. Well, there's a big difference between a program versus a course with a whole system designed to make you skillful. There's a big difference. So that's why when you come to the program and that's why I tell people that if you're new to IT, don't just think about servers right now. Think about the fundamentals and then move your way up to the servers, which is step four right here in the same program. We're talking about three, four or five months over here, if depending on how fast you're learning these uh, videos and doing the labs. You can't just do videos. I mean, yes, you will learn. But in reality, that's not how you learn IT stuff, especially skills. you got to do hands on. So this course that I'm showing you, Windows Server Administration, Active Directory Group Policy Fundamental, is the core course. Basically, this is the first course that everyone in our platform should start. So if you are going to ask me how, I just showed you the whole process. Log in, go to the community portal, open the learning path, 
and open this course i am going to put this inside the description as well but you have to log in first so now you're actually going to come over here and you're going to click on continue or start course if you're doing this for first time here we are using this these are the microsoft videos by the way the first videos this is coming straight from the microsoft guys and the first ones are just lecture what is server what are the essential services in servers file and print services managing storage and then after that we just get into the hands-on now here our instructor is also explaining with introduction okay what does this even mean let's if you click on this right here our instructor is also putting 15 15 minutes each module just explain these things but after that we just get into straight into the exercises okay we will install the nano server we will configure it through the powershell we will do connectivity stuff you know all this enabling a dhcp scope enabling all this stuff is important for you to do it hands-on right here so if you were to ask me again how do i learn about servers then this is the course that you need to start with and you need to do this hands-on if you watch a video over here you need to go back to your practice lab this lab is actually a fundamental lab right here in microsoft so i'm going to show you which one it is right here windows server administration fundamentals windows 10 update so if you click on it you can watch a video right there that I just showed you the installation of nano server and here you can spin up all these servers and now you have everything hands on. You can't get more hands on than this because these are real systems using 2016 data center servers and most of the companies we are using 2012, 16 and uh, 19 right now. Okay, we have moved up from 12 but a lot of companies are on 16 and 19 right now right so this is where you start about your server learning because you got to get hands-on you will need to learn active directory beyond just you adding a user beyond just group policy results you got to understand how to actually configure all these things so if you're in this course then this course not only just finishes with that one but this course goes beyond that we add the 2019 modules at the end as well so where are the 2019 labs in this one so if you go back and you come down all the way to the practice lab custom courses here you go you get windows server 2019 administration concept and if you go all the way down here's windows 2019 configuration and maintaining it can't get more hands-on than this if you are real uh, about learning advanced technologies or advanced server skills this is how you need to follow so you're going to follow the course which is more of like you want to watch a video of the lab basically the same lab maybe if you're new you should just go over that quickly and then every time you do a video you should come back over here and try to implement that in the lab try to try to catch up with it in the lab system okay so when you come over here you watch it you understand what the logs do what these subscriptions do how do we forward logs and events and all that kind of stuff then you go back and implement it now that is just one or two courses that i shared of course after that you will find out more server related courses that we recommend in our platform that if you feel like you want to learn more theoretical side of servers you want to learn more about the videos you want someone to explain it to you then that's where you use your partner portal this is an extra access we're giving it to you with the 200 plus courses right for one year so you go into your trainer locker over here and then here what you do is you type 2016 like that and you basically come over here and my access is expired so anyway so here you you look at this to networking with servers 2016 identity with and and if you if you watch these server courses they are long right somebody is explaining everything step by step now that's if you are going to become a sysadmin or windows uh, systems administrator then you want to go into that kind of detail if you feel like you're going to be more of like a network engineer or maybe you want to be doing a security later on then i think this one course should be enough for you to understand the basics and not even basics actually it gets into a little more details than basics so this one course can really change the way you do server stuff because after that you can go deeper towards systems administration then maybe consult us will tell you which courses next to take or you will just finish the server stuff over here and move on to something that is more specific to your uh you know career 
So how can we help you with this diagram? Now, this diagram will be shared with you. This is the same diagram that is on the membership page. A little trim down. So again, if you're brand new, don't jump into these videos, the one that I'm sharing or the labs. You need to jump over here. Watch what is this career. Choose what kind of learner you are. You're doing a 100% self-paced, then go for a premium membership. If you feel like you want to be pushed, you want to be guided, then go for this video. Click on here. Click on the full details and apply for the programs that we are offering. If you are actually one... Um, uh, in this situation where you ask us a question, how do I learn advanced or specific skills? Like today, I covered how to learn Windows Server skills in JSS. We are making it super easy for you to come over here and then keep a track of it. So make sure you bookmark this because this link will be updated again and again as, as long as we get queries about different things and as long as we cover it, we're gonna add these videos in one place. Advanced and specific IT skills, we, we covered Active Directory, we covered IT skills, now we covered the server skills and then we're going to be covering more and more and more because we have a lot of capability. So this is what you want to save if you are already working in IT and you have this type of questions in future, you should come over here and just kind of see what we have already covered because it's going to make your life very easy. Thank you so much.